So I'd like to introduce Mr. Dave Dalzell. Yeah. Thanks Michael. for being here, Dave. Um, he's going to go through the individual pieces of the trailer, and, and uh, with his 25 years of history with Jamco, he's going to really explain to us what, what separates this trailer from all the others. So Dave, this is um, sort of a cross-section of, uh, of the trailer, uh, and this is probably the meat and potatoes of what separates this trailer from others. Can you explain to us a little bit what I have here? You're exactly right, Michael. This, this trailer is uniquely different from anybody else in the marketplace. We started off with a tongue and groove aluminum plank. This is a six inch plank made out of heavy walled material, extruded. This plank gets all its strength run lengthwise in the trailer. And that's what gives it the tremendous strength, the side strength on yeah. it. And, and how does that compare to other trailers? I mean, don't you normally, I mean, uh, I've never seen anything like this, so how do you build another trailer? Most trailers are built with a post, like you'd build a house, a stud, yeah. a stud wall with a skin riveted or welded to the outside and then a liner put on the inside. That is typically, historically, way you trailers are built, yeah. aluminum trailers. Well, I can see if you've got that much, you know, extra support strength, it must be, you know, you basically your whole trailer wall is in support versus having support in sections. That, that's true, yeah. It gets tremendous strength running lengthwise and it leaves, leaves the trailer clean and smooth inside. There's no protrusions to the inside of this trailer at all. Yeah, and then how does that tie into the floor? Yeah, well this bottom plank we use in different trailers, but on, we use a five inch and sometimes a three, but at lots of times an eight, different lengths of trailers. This plank is continuously welded on the inside of the trailer to the, to the main frame. And as you can see here, and then the floor is set into a channel and it is continuously welded into the frame as well. So there's tremendous strength in the bottom end of this trailer. It makes the, the trailer six inches deeper no matter what frame you're doing it in. Is that common? Very uncommon. Yeah. No, nobody else does that. Yeah. And then the, then the roof is also interesting. I've never seen anything quite like that. Yeah. What's the idea there? We put, a nut, we put a skin on the top of it, just like other trailers are. And I think 2006, we came up with this new roof extrusion, which drops over the plank. Mm -hmm. And then if a, another roof plank goes in, so now the roof is tongue and groove as well as the sides and the floor. And is that just to keep prevent from twisting? I... No, it's actually, it gives a cleaner, brighter, finish inside and it gives a lot of strength. If, yep. if a horse happens to rear up, he's not going to poke his head through the roof or dent the sure. roof. It's it's solid. Well, I know I know I've had an experience in the past where I had a horse really lose, you know, lose control of his of his emotions in the yeah. trailer and he kept hitting his head and I did actually have a, a, a trailer that where rivets started to pop and he cut his he cut his pole that way. Yeah. So this would prevent that. Man. Well, you solved the problem I didn't even remember I had. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dave, you were explaining to me a little bit earlier about um, the way that these planks are run and, and how that separates things a little bit. Can you explain yeah. to me the, the flooring plank system yeah. as well? This is an extruded plank, nine inches wide, with a cross member every four and a half inches. And obviously every nine where the, where the tongue and groove meet, it doubles the flooring up in there. And as you can see here, we continuously weld this floor in, into the frame rail of the trailer. And, and when you look at the end of it, all, all frames the floor sits into this channel. Sure. So it's not just hanging out there welding the top, it's actually sitting on a piece of frame. No, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It would t require a tremendous amount of force to bend that or to get it out oh, of that weld. Yeah. I mean, I don't even can't imagine that you could even apply that much you know, force. We do a lot of work in, in the draft horse business. And uh, That's not going anywhere. That's, that does, that just doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> That's for sure. That's great. Another sort of interesting benefit that, yeah. that I wouldn't have necessarily thought of, but uh, since you brought it up to me, Dave, I've, I've really considered that it probably is uh, pretty beneficial is this gap here and, yeah. and its insulating properties. What does that do? This acts like almost like a thermal window pane. Yeah. It's, a, it's a locked in uh, thermal, almost like a thermal pane. Yeah. It's equivalent to about an R5 insulation factor. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, that applies to the roof as well. Our, our, one of our advertising things have always been smooth, strong, and quiet. And this trailer is very quiet in the inside. If you're right in it yourself, there's nothing that rattles, nothing that shakes. Yeah. And well, I've, I've ridden in a couple of horse, uh, horse trailers going down the road, probably illegally, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, they um, I, I, you always notice as, as a big semi or something goes by, how, how startled the horses can get. And that's got to add to the stress for the horse. And, and certainly yeah. if, if this would, would dampen the sound, it's oh, got to be a benefit to it, them. It is, it is. It's yeah. definitely, it's, it's, it's quiet. We do this, like we, we've built semis in that the same way. And yeah. they're just unbelievably quiet. That's amazing. Yeah. So with the way that everything's tied in here, Dave, I mean, th this, this trailer is, uh, it seems like it's built almost bomb proof. Um, how does that, what does that do for the integrity of the trailer, for the integrity of the doors, if you have a if you have an accident there? 
we had had a, an accident with a six horse head dead where a gentleman had got hung up on a set of railroad tracks and is hit by a train oh. at 26 miles an hour. And uh, the engineer did a great job trying to get it stopped. But the, it actually hit the trailer and bent the trailer, but there was no intrusion to the inside the trailer wow. at all. It just pushed it down the tracks. Unfortunately, one horse was killed, but two just walked right off. So Dave, as we uh, talked about with the cutaway, um, obviously the tongue groove construction is strong, um, but you know, for, for everybody watching, I mean, if, if you go up to a lot of other trailers and you push on the wall, you see a bend and a flex, you have to move the whole trailer here in order to get anything to move away from you. Um, what, what other parts of, of the uh, trailer design add to that sort of strength? This, well, again, this trailer is so strong thing, with the thickness of the material that's in there as well. Mm -hmm. But what we didn't mention before is in between every plank, we run a, a sealer, a Silipreme sealer, yeah. and we clamp this wall down for 12 hours after we seal it. Yeah. And that, that glue will hold 450 pounds of foot pressure per inch wow. on every single plank. So you can actually take any supports out of this trailer and you cannot take this wall apart. That's amazing. Uh -huh. Additionally, in, in um, you know, a, a, normal, um, a normal construction method where you have a skin over, over a, a skeleton, we'll yeah. say, um, one of the things that I've always noticed is you have sort of a pop and a bow. Obviously that can't happen here, but what causes that pop and bow? Well, Manufacturers will either rivet a skin on, or huck bolt it, or, or they'll weld it to the post inside. And that, the heat alone, or the rivets, cause the material, if you pull it in, makes the material bend and flex a little bit. So right, sure. it, creates, it creates a weakness, wherever that is. Now, yeah. there, you know, there are a lot of well-made trailers in the countryside, but the, the, they, a lot of them have gone away from the rivets, but yep. there are still some manufacturers that use the rivet skin on it. Sure, and I guess that, I mean, anytime you have that skin or you have a, a rivet, I mean, that's certainly a weak point that if yeah. there is a problem, it could potentially add to sharp edges in the trailer. But that's true. A yeah. any, anytime you, you punch a hole in the trailer to put a rivet in or a bolt or something like that, it's a weakness in the trailer. So Dave, with this strength of construction, clearly there, there are safety aspects to that, but there must be some financial benefits over time as well. Can you tell us a little bit about what sort of financial uh, warranties there are and things like that? Yeah. Well, we warrant the wall structure for 20 years against any structural breakage. Yeah. Uh, we warrant the, the main body of the trailer for five years, yeah. and we put one year warranty on little incidental things, you know. Wear parts. Wear parts, lights, you know, yeah. a bad tire, something yeah. like that. Sure. Know. We look after all that. Mm -hmm. But a probably the main benefit is if you ever look on the website, try to find a used Jamco. I mean, they're just not out there. People keep them forever, and there's a lineup of people waiting to buy one because they're virtually indestructible. Yeah. To make you soap and water and a, and a good clean, I'll tell you, to make these chairs look new after 20 years. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's really amazing. I wish to thank Jamco for partnering with us on the Road to Recovery, which is my campaign to help improve trailer safety. And um, a portion of all proceeds uh, from Jamco trailer sales will go towards the Road to Recovery and, and in turn will go towards improving safety in horse trailers. I think Jamco is by far the best trailer for the worst day of your life. And I think if you give it a chance, you'll see the same.